Welcome to the Software Carpentry screencast on databases. This screencast is on sorting the results from a database. As we've seen in previous screencasts, we can use the SELECT statement to pull out columns from a table. But the results of our queries are returned in an arbitrary order. They're not sorted by default. If we wanted to sort these results by the project, we'd add an order by clause to our query and list the column we want the sorting to be done on, in this case, project. And then we put ASC, an abbreviation of ascending, to specify that we want the results to be sorted in ascending order. When we run the query, you see the results are now sorted in ascending order by the project field. If we wanted the sorting to be done in descending order, we put the keyword DESC, short for descending, after the sort field. This reverses the sort order. If we want to sort the results by the project and then by the hours, we list both field names after the order by clause separated by commas. So we say order by project descending and then hours ascending. In the database system we are using, SQLite, ascending order is the default. That is, if we don't specify the sort order, we get the results in ascending order. Now, we don't have to have selected the column in order for us to sort by it. For instance, let's select the login ID, project, and hours from the experiment table. We are able to order by the experiment date, even though we haven't selected it. We're able to do this because the experiment date is in the table we are reading from. We just chose not to return its value in the results. If we had, we would see these results have in fact been sorted by the experiment date. We can even sort the results by the value of an expression. In SQLite, the random function returns a pseudo-random integer, as we see here. Notice the values in this column. The values change each time we run the query. So to randomize the order of our query results, we can simply sort them by the value of this function which, because it returns random values, will cause the ordering of the results to be random. In previous screencasts, we've seen how you can select columns, append new calculated columns, and filter the results. All of these operations can be combined into one query. The SELECT clause lists the columns we want to retrieve. We'll use the asterisk as a shortcut for all of the columns in the table, and an expression that calculates 10% of each hour. The from clause tells the database which table to fetch records from. The where clause specifies the conditions the records have to meet in order to be included in the results. And finally, the order by clause is used to specify how the results should be sorted. The order that you see the clauses in here is required by SQL. The SELECT clause must come before the FROM, the WHERE clause must come after the FROM, and the ORDER BY clause comes last. In this screencast we've seen that you can select data from a table and sort the results by fields in your tables, or with expressions. And we've seen that selecting, filtering, and sorting operations can all be combined into a single query.